hello everyone welcome to Aryan tutorials on mechanics of leads so in this video lecture uh, we are going to discuss about uh, a problem which is based on YouTube manometer so already we know YouTube manometer is used for finding the pressure at a particular point in a pipe so whenever the problem is given how to find out the pressure well in a pipe so that problem we are going to discuss one example problem so this is the problem given like this please try to read the problem by stopping the video then go through the explanation whatever I am giving now so first I would like to give the representation for the YouTube manometer here so according to the problem here YouTube manometer is connected, a, connected to a pipe so and at where we need to find out the pressure value and already the liquid levels are mentioned here so one is the center of the pipe is 12 centimeters below the level of mercury in the right limb so this is the mercury level in the right limb and the center of the pipe is 12 centimeters below it so from the level of mercury here the center of the pipe is 12 centimeter below of it and uh, again here the difference of mercury level in the two limbs is given as 20 centimeters so this is one level in the um, a limb left limb uh, that is of mercury and this is another level of mercury in the right limb so the difference of these two levels is given as 20 centimeters so uh, initially I would like to represent them so difference in the mercury levels with respect to the datum line here I have assumed um, as I am assuming here so difference in the mercury levels is 20 centimeters and the height of this uh, that is uh, distance of the center from the level of the mercury is 12 centimeters so this is the data is given uh, for the levels of the mercury and the center of the pipe and next I would like to write the data which is given in the problem like uh, see here uh, I have represented where we need to find out the pressure so P is the pressure required we need to find so now we go for writing the data so specific gravity of the fluid here uh, in the problem uh, fluid of specific gravity is given as 0.9 so specific gravity is represented by S1 so that S1 is equal to 0.9 okay next uh, with the help of the S1 we can find out the density of the fluid because the specific gravity formula we can know that which is the ratio of uh, density of the liquid to the density of standard liquid so the density of fluid assume it as rho 1 which is related to the fluid for which we need to find out the pressure so rho 1 is equal to we can write it as according to the specific gravity formula so rho 1 is equal to s1 into we can write it as density of standard liquid so actually the specific gravity definition is ratio of density of required fluid to the density of standard fluid so when you take the denominator to the right side so automatically rho 1 is equal to we can write it as specific gravity into density of the standard liquid that is the water here so substitute the values given in the data that is S1 is 0.9 into density of water is 1000 automatically we get the value as 900 kg per meter cube so this is the density of the fluid which is flowing through the pipe for which we need to find out the pressure here and next similarly uh, another data is given uh, it is not given but uh, data is given in the form of uh, the liquid which is mercury heavy liquid is provided in the uh, limbs of the manometer YouTube manometer so uh, already we should know uh, specific gravity of the mercury which is the standard value for mercury specific gravity of mercury assume it is as S2 because the second liquid which is uh, heavy liquid so S2 is equal to write it as the value is 13.6 remember the specific gravity of the mercury is 13.6 that is the standard value for the mercury and uh, in the same way the density of the mercury we can find out with the help of whatever the specific gravity 13.6 value so again we can write it as s2 rho 2 is equal to s2 into rho w which is the water density so density of mercury is equal to specific gravity into density of water okay so by using this formula we can find out the density of mercury so now we are going to the next slide in that slide uh, I'm going to mention the density of the fluid and uh, this step that is the density of mercury we need to find and uh, that is the step density of fluid already we got 900 and density of mercury rho 2 is equal to s2 into rho w so s2 is we know 13.6 into rho w is density of water that is 1000 
so when you multiply 13600 kg per meter cube will get the density of the mercury and uh, the density values are over next we try to write the height of the liquids in the left limb and right limb so based upon the height values only we can find out the pressure value so first we try to write the height values of the liquids so initially height of the mercury in the right limb right here so height of the mercury in the right limb is already given in the data itself that is 20 centimeters assume it is as h2 why because for heavy liquid we are taking the suffix to so h2 is equal to we can write it as 20 centimeters next similarly we need to write height of fluid in the left limb so height of the heavy liquid is over next height of the liquid that is the fluid which is flowing through a pipe we need to write in the left limb so the height that assume as h1 so h1 is equal to we will get the height from the datum line aa so how will you get means the total height is 20 and the distance between the center and the level of the mercury is 12 then when you take sub, uh, difference of these two values we can get the height of the liquid that is the fluid in the left limb so finally we need to write 20 minus 12 which gives us uh, 8 centimeters as a height of the liquid in the left limb okay so these are the data enough for finding the pressure values in the left limb and right limb according to the analysis already we did for the youtube manometer so i would like to write all the values whatever we have determined here initially write row 1 we got 900 kg per meter cube row t sorry row 2 we got 13600 kg per meter cube and similarly h1 we got 8 centimeters and h2 we got 20 centimeters so next slide with the same values we try to find the pressure p value so according to the equilibrium condition again uh, what are the analysis we did for the youtube manometer we need to write sum of the pressures in the left limb is equal to sum of the pressures that means total pressure in the left limb should be equal to the total pressure in the right limb so try to write the total pressure in the left limb which is the sum of p and the pressure of the liquid in left limb so p plus we can write it as according to the height and density of the liquid in the left limb rho 1 g h 1 is equal to we have to write the total pressure in the right limb which is uh, due to the mercury level in the right limb so that we can write it as rho 2 g h 2 from the hydrostatic law okay so now we can write all the we can substitute all the values except the p value that we need to find out here so write p plus uh, rho 1 is 900 into g is 9.81 into h1 is 8 centimeters and is equal to rho 2 is 13600 into 9.81 into 20 centimeters okay then uh, try to sub uh, try to calculate the value of p with the help of the calci so then finally p is equal to will get uh, the value as 2.59 newton per centimeter square the pressure value so entire this term should be taken to the right side then this term minus this term will be getting then p is equal to when you modify with the help of the when you calculate with the help of the calci then automatically we get the value as 2.5 newton per centimeter square which is the required pressure inside the pipe at the center of the pipe so according to the data given in the problem we can solve the problem which is related to the simple youtube manometer I hope you understand uh, how to solve a problem and if you still having any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video so that I'll try to clarify your doubts once again thanks for watching my video thank you all